When I first started, there were, there were a lot of baking videos, but they were all really long and boring, and people were watching, they were getting the views, so they were getting millions of hits. But you'd, sit, you'd have to sit through 20 minutes of like droning voices and like static, fuzzy shots, and I just thought, oh, I can do better than this. I really like making clothes and putting them on and posing. So that's what I started doing. And I actually started then on Facebook with just a Facebook page. And then the Facebook audience actually said to me, you know, you need to get on YouTube and show us how you style your clothes, how you style your scarf. And then that's how it all started. As a poet, my art was always reflective of what I've been living through, you know what I mean? So as a result of that, for me, it was kind of like, I was talking about what I knew. And me being a student that has graduated, I'm frustrated, you know, I'm, I'm working from nine to five at retail, you know, handing out trainer boxes to people. It, it was just reflective of what I was living. And it's all it's been so quick and all kind of so unbelievable anyway that it's almost like a dream world. Each milestone is a kind of like, oh, oh, I'm there. It feels all right because I've been doing it for so long, so it's been a very gradual process. So I'm not, it's not like I'm overwhelmed or anything. <laughs> it is humbling considering most of us, myself included, started this for a very small audience, which probably included my mum, my little sister, my older sister, you know what I mean? For that, for me to go from there to 100,000, anyone can, like, you have to be grateful. Everyone's doing everything, so to find that, like, niche thing that maybe doesn't exist or a thing that does exist but do it like knock it out of the park and do it really really well it, it is hard but it's totally possible with YouTube you know you, you can literally do it all by yourself in your room for like no money and become a huge star you know everybody's got that sixth sense kind of feeling whether if they're comfortable with you know you know if they're going against their own morals or whatever it is as long as you're comfortable and you know what you're doing is within your boundaries and whatever it is you know that you live by and just go ahead do it and if you're going into creative industry try and balance it with whatever you're doing at the moment to make it work until it comes to a point where a lot of people always say to me oh how do you know when to stop everything and do what you're doing creatively the the the, the, the point becomes evident you know what i mean there's a point where you have too much demand doing what you're it's still a leap and it's still a leap of faith but there, there's more evidence and more affirmation and confirmation that you need to be doing it if I could describe my YouTube career in three words, they would be what I love. It's been fruitful, exciting, surprising. Fun, hard and rewarding.